everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be in Kilmarnock. 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 But if you would look at it from my North American standard, it looks like Kilmarnock Rock. Kilmarnock, Scotland, everybody. Going for a breakfast challenge, a Scottish breakfast challenge, with a $100 pound prize. Yes, so just, if you're not familiar, pound is their currency. So this is like $100 cash prize, but 100 pounds, you understand. So guys, this is an amazing challenge. Why? It has been barely defeated. It's been around for about seven years, and I believe there is like three winners, maybe four, but I think it's three winners. We have to beat the record, yes, beat the record of about 18 minutes in order to get the meal for free. So what this is, it is a very large breakfast sandwich. I'm going to tell you all about the uh, ingredients and what it is when we get there. But with that, let's head on over. Let's have some fun. Guys, we're in Scotland. We made it to the United Kingdom. We made it over across the pond. So ultimately, let's go have some fun. Eat some food. Let me know down below if you ever had a Scottish breakfast. Guess what? There's black pudding. We're going to tell you about that too. The, well, mm, notorious black pudding. So let's go have some fun, eat some food, and let's get eating. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being MGM Slots Live, the official MGM casino game. So MGM Slots Live is a free way to bring the excitement of a Las Vegas casino directly in your hand, no matter where you are. As the ultimate Las Vegas experience, MGM Slot Lives features dozens of slot games with bonus rounds and live tournaments in actual MGM casinos, all free to play. MGM Slots Live also features loyalty points where the more you play, the more you collect. The amazing things with these points is you can actually redeem them for free hotel rooms, meals, and show tickets to MGM Resorts and many of their partners. I've been playing quite a lot and I really look forward to cashing in those points next time I'm in Las Vegas. You can play live slot and bingo tournaments against other players from around the world in games like Piggy Pop, Flashy Cash, Wicked Fortunes, and other favorites, such as mine, The Wind Zone. I personally like how engaging and creative the app is, and I never turn down an excuse to visit the Las Vegas Strip, even if it's through the app. So download MGM Slots Live using the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen right now and get 10 million chips for free if you are a new player. It's available on the iOS, App Store, and Google Play. So click the link down below, and I'll see you in Las Vegas. Hi everyone, so here I with the challenge, the Hogan's Humongous Challenge. Yes, that is the exact name. So the Hogan's Humongous Challenge, guys. So this is a very large breakfast sandwich, as we said. We have a whole tin of beans. Um, on here we have eggs, we have black pudding. My first time actually gonna have black pudding. I'm super excited to try that. We have uh, normal sausage, normal sausage. We have bacon, which are called rations. So we have rations of the or rashers. We have bacon rashers on here. We have eight fried eggs. We have a whole bunch of potato scones, also called tatty scones, potato tatty. We then also have their square or sliced sausage, which is uh, kind of more like a ground sausage. It's not encased and it's cut in squares. So yeah, it looks really good. Um, so like we said, in order to complete the challenge, we do have to beat the record of 1827 set by our good friend, Mr. Scott. Um, so this challenge has been around for a number of years. In fact, this has been around for about seven years and there's now been four winners, only four winners in seven years. That's definitely a pretty difficult challenge. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to give this a try. This will be my first time having any sort of a Scottish breakfast. And I guess this with the addition of what would be haggis, which is uh, kind of a unique Scottish dish made with sheep's stomach, from my understanding, is this would be like a traditional breakfast, just not in a sandwich of this sort. In addition to everything here, I do have myself some, what they call red sauce, which is ketchup, and brown sauce, which I have no clue exactly what it is. They just said that's just kind of brown sauce, but apparently it's vinegary and all this stuff, so I look forward to trying both of those. So with that, I think I am ready. You guys ready here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so how about we get started? We'll say the count of, wow, this is uh, this is still hot, it's piping. Anyway, let's say the count of uh, five, four, this is really hot, okay. Might have let this cool off a bit, but uh, see that steam rolling. Anyway, three, two, one, let us eat. Mmm. Bacon. Oh, hold on. I gotta chase that black pudding here. 
What does it taste like, Joel? You don't taste like? What's that? Sausage. Winter spices. It's like nutmeg, cardamom, allspice. It's actually really, really good. This is what you got to look forward to next. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are here having a Scottish breakfast and well, let me tell you all about it. I love it though. So a Scottish breakfast is pretty similar to an English breakfast. From my understanding, it's pig blood and spices. Mmm, really good. Mm. I don't know how anybody could not like that. That is really good. It tastes like Christmas. Essentially, I mean, it's a variety of fried and cured meats. I mean, eggs, bread, all that above. Like a good Scottish breakfast. Again, kind of similar to an English breakfast. Now, in regards to that black pudding I was talking about, that stuff was absolutely delicious. It was like, well, I'll put it this way. We tried a couple places, and this black pudding was absolutely delicious. I had one person say to me, either love it or hate it, and it really depends on the black pudding. And this was the best black pudding I ever, 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 ever had. That doesn't say much. So beans are pretty common for breakfast here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little different than North America. Often people don't have beans that often, but very good. Has next portion, egg, sausage, bacon. But it really was these lovely, warm, wintry spices. I So I really liked the black pudding. And now let's talk about the rest. And tidy scones. How are we doing for time? Two minutes in. And we are two minutes and 10 seconds in. Mmm. Great butter in the sauce. And I'll wait to try my red and brown sauce probably on the next half. With the exception of the black pudding and I believe what they call the Lorne, so Lorne sausage, I believe it is really, all these other items I were like very, very, very familiar to me. And even though the Lorne sausage wasn't technically familiar to me, it tasted very familiar to me. I don't often eat breakfast foods and I don't have them enough. Or maybe just because the Scottish breakfast is that good, but shout out Hogan's. So that's kind of the general whatever, and I'm going to talk more about everything. So back to what actually is the challenge, guys. So we had, um, you know, to beat the record to get the 100-pound prize. Again, this challenge had been around for many, many years. Only a couple winners. We had only Randy Santel. We had Mr. Beard Meets Food himself. Uh, recently, we had my friend Scott, and I was hoping to join that list. Is Iron Brew acceptable at breakfast time? Absolutely. Hey, I like it. <laughs> I like Iron Brew. There have been countless of attempts in the uh, seven plus years of its existence, and I gotta say, it was actually a lot, well, at least a little more difficult than I thought. I'm dipping in that runny egg yolk, yum yum yum. It wasn't like a massive challenge, but it was deceivingly hard to eat. Oh, so good. It being piping hot didn't help either, but everything just took a little bit of time, although it was very enjoyable. I'm a soft yolk person. I'm gonna go soft or hard yolk down below. Hashtag soft, hashtag hard. Keep your heads out the gutter. So of course we're in the quest for that free meal. Made some potatoes, scone, sausage, salmon. And we we're really hoping for that 100 pound, or it's not dollar, it's 100 pound cash prize to beat the record. That sausage, woo! Where to go. <coughs> really enjoy that. And we also had to beat the record in order to actually get that meal for free, if you know what I mean. We're 525 in. And drinking a Iron Brew, guys. A shout out if you like Iron Brew or ever had Iron Brew. Give me a comment down below. And ultimately, let's get to the rest of the video. We're coming on. I'm maybe just about seven and seven. Very, very good, guys. This is so delicious. I'm actually like thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Black pudding is awesome. 
I have an unpopped runny yolk on this. Like, that is gonna be a delicious bite. So I'm gonna have that right now. Mmm. Ooh, -wee. that is a good flavor. Mmm. Mm. So good. And black pudding, guys, definitely a buy. At least what they have at Hogan. All right, now, well, I'm gonna finish this black pudding. It's that good, then I'm gonna bust those sauces. All right, local recommendation, try brown sauce. Let's give it a go. Pardon me? Fruity? Let's give it a try. Mm. It is kind of fruity. I'm trying to decipher the flavor. I'm gonna give it a second bite. Okay, I know what it tastes like. Guess what brown sauce tastes like? Right now, quick, brown sauce. I'll tell you in a second. Brown sauce to me tastes like uh, like often what I would call plum sauce that they often serve at kind of a Chinese American Chinese style restaurants. It's good. It is kind of fruity, sweet. Try a little bit of red sauce or ketchup. It's good. The black sauce is just need anything else. And we're about 10 minutes in. Break into this bit here, guys. More sausage, eggs. Still loving that breakfast. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Comments to the chef. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Delicious. Twelve minutes in. Oh. All right, guys. We're about thirteen forty in. Last kind of uh, sausage sandwich here with the tatty scone, a rasher of bacon, a lovely fried egg, and then we have our tin of beans. I gotta say, so I mean, I've tried the brown sauce, I've tried the ketchup, they're both very, very good. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is so flavorful, it's not even needed. And I've thoroughly been enjoying it. So, let's get this last little bit done. We have uh, only a few minutes left before uh, that record, so we better hurry up. That's 1620. Honestly, I'm sad it's over. That was so good. The sausage, the black pudding, amazing. Scotland, you gotta get some good food. Now we got less than two minutes to eat these beans. So we better hurry up. All 
I would say it's the same as, you know, very similar. You get like beans and tomato sauce in North America. But that black pudding, guys, woo! Alright guys, we got our last bite here. And we're done guys. 18.08, the official time. So that was super, super, super delicious. Thank you so much. Guys, I literally cannot, like, I cannot stress enough how delicious that was. I was, like, I, I didn't know what to expect. I never had a Scottish breakfast, guys, but I enjoyed that sandwich so, so, so much. I would eat that time and time again. If I lived here, I would come by every freaking day. Uh, so yeah, the area, besides being known for Hogan's, Wash is great. Um, excuse me, but they're actually the original home of uh, Johnny Walker, like the whiskey, which is pretty cool. And the uh, gentleman who invented penicillin also went to school here. So you basically here they have cured all your ailments. So if you rather really need penicillin or whiskey, you know you got the good. So guys, huge thanks to everybody here at Hogan for beating the record. We do get that one hundred dollar pound prize. I often say cash, but it's pounds. Um, which is amazing and uh, that's pretty much that so huge thanks to everybody here the staff has been fantastic everybody in Scotland especially uh, Kilmark Kilmarnock Kilmarnock sorry guys I want to get that pronunciation correct that's about that guys so of course until next time say happy healthy hungry happy eating and uh, have a lovely day so yeah guys definitely recommend excited it until next time I appreciate you guys goodbye Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.